Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sunny and in this video, I'm going to talk about how did I know I was psychic. I've done a video on this, like I believe I did, I think, I, I don't know, but I was, supposed, I was supposed to make this video like months ago, but I'm getting to it now. So, um, how did I know I was psychic? I took my gifts seriously when I was like about 20 ish yeah about no maybe like 2021 I'm 22 right now so yeah about 2021 but um when I was a little girl I would always like see spirits and I would always have dreams that will come true and I would always just like feel people's emotions and stuff like that but but like I was little and I really didn't understand it like I noticed these awkward um, dreams and spirits and stuff when I was like four or five years old but I mean I just didn't know I didn't care I was the typical girl who had imaginary friends like I remember when I was young I had um, I think when it was Jenny I would always see this little girl and she was blue Avi she was dead and she wore like this white gown like those um like I don't want to say Victorian looking gowns but it was like a little I would say it seemed like she was in the time frame of maybe in the 1800s she had dark hair it was kind of curly like a wavy type curly and she always had it in like a French braid and like we would always play and stuff and I don't know I just really liked her but um I, I, I remember one day I just stopped seeing her like I don't know why I just remember that I stopped seeing her and then I picked up on another uh, spirit within my home within my home and um, he lived in the basement as well as other children I believe I talked about the story before but um, he was a child molester and obviously he did things to kids and I, I guess like he would kill them like in his basement but he was really evil um, I still remember I, I never really saw him but I get these, I'm really, um, I have like really, really strong, uh, clear, clear city, um, emotions. And it's just like, I can see within my brain what they look like. I don't have to like really see them per se, but, um, he was a tall male, kind of muscular, brown hair, um, looked kind of like a lumberjack, but kind of without the beard. Uh, he, he was kind of attractive to be honest but I mean it, it's kind of weird what he did so so yeah but um and then I remember like when I would have to go to graveyards because I don't know kids like us kids like we would be forced to like go to funerals and stuff like that and every time I went I would always see like spirits floating around it was really really weird I remember this one time um it was someone in the army who died I believe it was the army and I saw this woman she was like just floating around like I don't know it was like so peaceful and it's so pretty I just really really like that I really, really did but um yeah so the first signs I had was like dreams and feelings like an empath feeling and I would see spirits I saw the little girl um when I got older I really didn't pay much attention to it like um when I was about maybe like seven or nine through like 16 yeah like so seven to 16 years old I just really didn't pay attention to my gifts um I was in like a really negative place then and I just really didn't give a fuck and I just like believed in the no yeah i believed in the evil side of things um i worship satan and yeah i was just really evil and i would see spirits i was really heavy into voodoo then yeah i would still see spirits demons to be exact but i just didn't really pay attention to like my gifts like i didn't think i was psychic and maybe i did but i really just didn't give a fuck about it so i was just like whatever but um yeah i'm happy i you know stopped doing those things but um and then I started like spirits started coming to me and I would just get like really really drained um and like it's funny because I had this one spirit like she was um she was really heavy on drugs and she told me like her life 
Like, I, I remember laying down one day, and it just felt like I was her. And she showed me, like, everything that happened in, in her life up to her death. And she told me, like, this is going to be you, so straighten up. And when I came back into my body, I was like, wow. Like, she told me, like, all that was going to happen to me. And she told me, like, I just need to be careful. And the way that she died, she was killed because she was raped. And I remember she told me, like, you're going to get raped too. And I did when I was, um, I was 17. So it was interesting. But, um, yeah, so I often think about that spirit. Um, because honestly, I really do feel like she saved my life. Like, I really was kind of going down a bad path. Um, I really wasn't into drugs like that uh, during that time, but when I got older, I did experiment. So, um, and every time I would do that, like, I would just think about her. And, um, and after I had my son, um, I had my son when I was 18. Um, my gifts was, like, so much stronger. My son, he's intuitive himself. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, my gifts, you know, they got stronger. And I would, like, when I was, like... I think 19 or 20 I would let other I would go to Aranium the website that I'm on and I would just get you know readers to read for me and they would always say oh you're so spiritual um, you have really strong energy and I had one psychic tell me like you need to be a psychic like you need to do the shit like in charge like because you're really good I feel like you're gonna be good and yeah so I guess I knew I was psychic uh, well I took my gift seriously when I was 20 that's when I really took ownership of my gifts. But I knew that I had some some type of spiritual magical powers when I was like five years old. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed me babbling about my uh, experiences um, with my gifts. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.